Hello, this is Onyx Tarot by Aubrey, and today I'm going to be doing a message for Scorpio. So thank you all so much for hitting the like button. I really do appreciate it, and it is super helpful to my channel. My personal readings are open, so feel free to check those out. And if you want to join the Scorpio Patreon, feel free to check that out. I post all of the weekly readings and finance readings and career readings and love readings there that I don't post here, okay? So let's get a message for Scorpio. Message for Scorpio. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Emperor, Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Sun, good, Six of Cups in reverse, and the Empress in reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. So Scorpio. Um, the Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment, happiness, all on your own, right? Um, but in the reverse, you may be feeling like a little unhappy. Um, but at the same time, it's like you're stepping into your power at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like you're connected to somebody who you're kind of like, even though you're unhappy in a relationship or a situation, because we have the emperor and the empress, which are a match in this deck. Yeah, some you may feel like you're in a, um, the higher font is like an institution, um, a system, right? You may be in a long-term commitment with this person or in a commitment or in a contract or marriage or whatever the case is. But it's really unorthodox or it's really corrupt. So I feel like that's a source of like your, you know, like if you may be like, oh my God, if only I wasn't in this, then my life, quality of life would be much better. That kind of thing. And I'm seeing that regardless, yeah, regardless of any of that, you're still stepping into this like emperor energy where you're in your business mode and you're in your, you know, you're, ve you're very logistical and you're still like handling the things that are important for you to handle. Now, because of this, the Five of Pentacles is in the reverse. So if you felt like um, things were lacking in your life, um, they're getting much, 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 much better. Um, some of you may be connecting to a um, Queen of Cups, King of Cups energy really soon, um, who is very like sweet, fair, and balanced. Okay, you have the Queen of Cups here. And I see a lot of fast communication coming in with the Eight of Wands. Um, but whatever... <laughs> Whatever this is, it's going to, a lot of communication. So somebody could be reaching out to you very soon. Um, they want to hang out. They want to celebrate. They want to reconcile with you. Kick of cups, hang one in reverse. So this person, okay, this is a lot going on. So this is what I'm kind of getting. I'm getting that you realize things aren't as bad as they as they actually seem to be and then you you are in the sun energy which is like fulfillment happiness um you get the the truth and clarity about things and the sun is like literally the happiest card in tarot right um six of cups in reverse you have to leave behind some way of doing things that's been some way of doing things that's been very familiar the six of cards six of cups oh my god now i'm like <laughs> lord the six of cups and reverse um, is literally like breaking away from tradition, breaking away from what's familiar. Oh, I've been with this person for so long. Oh, I've been with this job for so long. I'm going to switch it up, right? Um, or, or it could be your, you know... Yeah, I, I I really get that. The sun, six of cups in reverse, the empress in reverse. It's like you're you're um putting an end to any type of um past commitments, past relationships with somebody that you know won't you're not even moving forward with this person. So I feel like you're protecting your energy. And I feel like also you're deep diving into your work and your work life with the emperor card here. And you're going to see day by day, things just get progressively better. So I think a lot of this has to do with um, shifting your, the way you see things, right? 
um and ending something like as far as how much time energy effort you put into something like why am i why am i still trying right to why is my day filled with this person this past person and i'm not even with them just because you know just because i'm in a contract with them i have to sit and talk about it every day and deal with it every day so i feel like you are like kind of like leaving it in the, du in the dust even though you may still be in some situation okay you may still be tied to it somehow but like you're freeing yourself what you don't see is the eight of stories in reverse so if you've been really overthinking what you're gonna say what you're gonna do um you know what you need to do tied to the situation i feel like you're not gonna be in a mental prison anymore you're not gonna feel stuck in the situation anymore now You have somebody new coming in that you may um, really care about. Like we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here. Queen of, and they're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles and the Death in Reverse card. I don't know why I feel like this person may be going through the same thing that you are in a sense. <laughs> it's the Death in Reverse. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Is a star in reverse. Yeah. I feel like this person, um, you know who this person is because you guys are going through similar situations, okay? Yeah, and you both have decisions to make. So this is like really interesting. Ace of Cups in reverse. And you're both unhappy in whatever um, situation that you're tied in to right now um hmm how will scorpio know who this queen of cups king of cups is let's see page of pentacles temperance king of wands in reverse justice seven of pentacles queen of wands in reverse wow okay Okay, cool. So I feel like you guys are both in a... <laughs> this is so interesting. So it's like out with the old and with the new. And you basically figure out how to... Um, hmm, you're, you're in the process of adding something new into your life and rescinding from the old in a sense. So you're going to know who this person is because they're going to give you a little tiny offer the page of pentacles is like you know this person could be really reliable but at the same time we're in the page stage right we're just getting to know each other we're just starting to communicate with each other um that kind of thing um hey let's go out for coffee hey let's go out for tea like oh okay like whatever the case is i don't know um this person is very angelic. Um, the temperance card is here. You can tell this person takes care, care of themselves. Um, they are very fair and balanced. They're not like bitter or nasty or toxic or they don't, and they don't overindulge on things. They're very fair and balanced, right? Um, King of Wands in reverse and you guys, Queen of Wands in reverse. So I feel like you both are honestly in a position where um, you're, you're going to get just, well, okay, let's keep talking. Queen of Wands in reverse, King of Wands in reverse. You guys are each other's match, but I feel like due to whatever situations you guys are in, um, you're kind of in the reverse here. So this person could be, like I said, whoever you're about to meet or about to connect to or about to have communication with, um, they're going to be strangely in a similar situation as you. Whether they're walking away from a job or in some type of contract or they were in some type of contract at some point and they're wa or they're walking away from a relationship, whatever the case is, it's going to be very, um, very ironic, very coincidental. Okay. Um, justice, this person is fair and balanced. Like whatever you talk to them, you're going to realize like, wow, they are really fair. Um, they're very just, um, they keep things fair and balanced. Like, like I said, any questions you ask this person, they're going to tell you the honest truth about it. And it's going to be like very um, respectable. Seven of Pentacles, this is somebody who invests over time, okay? Um, they're very hard worker. They save their money. They invest their money. They um, 
invest within themselves, that kind of thing. Um, and again, Queen of Wands in reverse, King of Wands in reverse. You both are in similar situations where um, you're kind of like trying to, yeah, Two of Wands in reverse. You can't, the Two of Wands is a card of like moving forward, even though this deck doesn't really look like it is, but they're, oh, it actually kind of does. Look at it. So the two, the two of Wands in Tarot is a card of like planning to move forward, right? And if you can see this person is standing on a planet and they're like, okay, it seems like she has on like workout clothes and she's like, okay, where is the freaking rest of the track? How am I going to get down from here? What am I going to do next? Okay. Like they're kind of trying to, they're in a, the two of Wands is like a wishy-washy, like, I don't know, but at least I'm planning. But the two of Wands in reverse is like, sh I'm stuck. Like, so like I said, you'll know who this person is because they're also in a weird jam of a situation where even though they may not be necessarily in something or connected to somebody like romantically or I don't know, whatever the case is, um, this person can't necessarily move forward without closing something out as well. So that that's kind of like what, what I'm getting for this person coming uh, towards you. Okay, so what I see is that um, a lot of you, again, are like kind of going to turn off that nine of cups and reverse energy and just step into sheer like business mode. And then it's like you the more you focus on your work and your goals and the emperor energy, the more stuff just works out for you. And the more that you are happy and the more that you attract happiness and happy people, um, the more you're like, okay, let me do this different. Let me not really expound or expunge, expunge. Let me not really like deep dive into this old person and this old situation. Let me just shift on new. Then the universe literally gives you new. So that's what I'm seeing. What you don't see again is that you're going to be freeing yourself from overthinking a situation and then boom, somebody new comes in um, to communicate with you and they're going to have a similar story. So whether this is a friend or romantic, I don't know, or a business partner, I don't know, but you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. So I do hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe, um, and thank you all so much for watching.